Hey everybody, it's Andrew again here at Pressbox Stats. Today we're going to walk through what you can do when you log in as a coach. So there's a lot to cover today, so I'm going to go pretty quickly. So what I've started with is I've already created the account and I'm going to log in directly into the account. If you have any questions about creating an account, go ahead and check out the video for creating a fan account. It's the very same process except you click on the coach button instead of the fan button. So I'm going to go ahead and log in here. And you'll see I already have a, a list of teams that I've been using. This is the My Team screen for a coach. So anything that you are an administrator for will show up in this list organized by the season. What I'm going to go ahead and do first here is I'm going to go ahead and create a team to add something to my, my list of teams here. When you first start, you can search for teams. Let's see, what am I going to create today? I will create Smithville. So I will search for SMIT for, to start the first letter of Smithville. There is uh, there are a couple teams there that start with that, but what about Smith? Oh, there are none. No. Okay, can't find your team. I'm going to go ahead and create a team today. So hit create a team, and this is going to be a high school team. It's going to be, I'll make it summer 24, so it says up at the top of the list. We are in Ohio today, so let's go ahead and choose Ohio. And Smithville is in Smithville, so this one's going to be really easy. Uh, short name. Short name is very, very helpful as you go through the application. It's a, basically a shorthand for your name that will help identify the yard line, team stats, and so on, and not have to show the entire team name all the time. So that's very, very helpful. This will be a varsity team today, and they are the Smithies, the Smithville Smithies. And then we're going to change them to our color is going to be a green. So let's go ahead and create this team, and then after that's complete, we go to the Smithville screen here. So on the menu options here down at the bottom, you'll see four, four menu options. The very first option is going to be the calendar or your schedule. The second option is going to be your roster. The third option is going to be reporting, which we'll go through in a little bit. And the fourth option will be user administration. We'll go through all those as well. But before we go into any of those, at the very top right, there's a gear button. That gear button is where you can set some of your team preferences. So for instance, you can use the default statistician rule for one and it says the tackle counts as one in the total tackles category, but some coaches um, prefer to have that as a half of a tackle. Also, QB kneel and QB spike. Uh, do you want to credit that to the team or to the individual? So those are some things that are debatable um, depending on what community you're talking in. So I left those up to the teams, but there are other settings here as well. Um, but those are some of the ones I want to call it that are, that are options here that you can configure for your team. You also see there a can create new team option. So whenever your season's over and you want to use this, the, the app again for next year, you hit create new season, it creates, um, basically it would create a Smithville again, but it'd create it for, I would choose the new season. I would choose summer of 25 or fall of 25. And what's great is you can basically auto import all of your players over or whatever, you can select whatever players that you want so that you don't have to recreate all those players again. And that way allows you to bring those athletes from year to year so you can follow career stats as well. So what we'll start here is I'll go ahead and create a game. I'm on the game tab here, so I'll hit the, the plus button on the bottom right. I'll hit the play button or the, the add button. This is going to be a non-conference game. I'm the home team and I'm going to play Ashland. So if you search for Ashland, you'll see that Ashland does exist already, which is a big advantage. You'll see why in, in here in just a second. But let's say you couldn't find your team. They don't use it. You can create the team yourself and then you can, you can go from there. But I will select Ashland and then I will go ahead and hit save. There are some game options, which basically allows you to override some of your team settings at the game level. So if the game might have a different uh, setting, you can change that. So let's go ahead and hit save here. And now I'm going to have my game against Ashland. And what's very, very helpful about this, as you'll see in one second, is when you go back to edit the game, there's a button at the bottom called opponent roster. So the team that you selected, if they also use press box stats and they've added players to their roster, those players are going to be automatically available for you when you're in the game keeping stats. So you don't have to preload their roster before the game. You don't have to add players um, as they happen throughout the game. You can do that beforehand, or you wouldn't have to do it at all as long as their roster is entered on their team. So going back here, I'm going to go back again. So that's basically how you create a game. And if you wanted to, to, to start doing live scoring for the game, you would just tap on the game in this row here. You would tap on the game, and then you get into the live scoring section. But we're going to have lots of different videos when it comes to live scoring. So the next tab here is the players tab. So you could go through and add players manually one by one if you wanted to, but no one enjoys doing that. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to move over to my uh, move over to my laptop here, and I'm going to show you something that's very very handy. And so now 
you're going to see, I'm going to refresh my screen. So now my new team Smithville shows up here. So you can't do this on mobile, but the one thing you can do on the laptop on the web is when I go to the roster, you can upload your roster from a file, which is a big advantage. So some, some football teams have 40, 50, 60 plus players in their roster. They can take forever to upload those and you have typos and all that stuff. So you can hit upload roster. You can choose a CSV file, a file. And in our help page on our website, there is a template that you can download. There's a link to a roster.csv to give you the format that it's supposed to be in. And you can go ahead and um, download that, change the information, add all your players, and you can use that. So for roster, I'll go ahead and hit open. And you'll see those players immediately get added to the roster. We have Al Yankovic, Mr. Rogers, and Bob Ross, three of my favorite people. All right. One thing you may have mentioned, may, may have seen on the mobile app was a player called Team. That is a placeholder player for any of the stats that get credited towards a team, such as a QB spike, a, a QB kneel, um, other scenarios as well where that might happen throughout the game, but the, the, the app will handle when that's supposed to happen. But that's what that team player is for. So now that we've gone ahead and we created a game, we add some players, let's go to the reporting tab. So the under reporting tab, you're going to see various options here. So when the game's over, if you click on this and click max reps, it will download the max reps file. And that file can be uploaded to max reps to get all of your information uploaded to that game on max reps. The next push option here will be box score. This box score is a PDF that you can download as well. Some people like that physical hard copy sometimes, whether you want to email it, print it out, whatever you want to do, that's a, a that nice box score there as well. And then you also see these season stats are, are available as well here. The one last part I want to go through here is the user administration. So I'm going to give you a little demonstration here in just a second. So um, you'll see there are no users right here right now, but this, this user that I'm on right now is the owner of the account. But let's say I want to log out real quick. I'm going to log in as a different coach. So because sometimes as a statistician, I might create the team and then I tell my coach, hey, go ahead and add yourself. Now, if I wanted to, while I was on that screen, I could have sent an invite to my coach, to his email address, and then he could come and create his account, and then he could um, join. You'll see here there's an accept and decline option. So this coach has been invited to other teams as well. But in this case, I want to go find a team. So this is a coach account. So this is just like me as a statistician. He's also looking for a team. So who did I create? I created Smithville. So if we find Smithville here, oh, great, there's my team. The coach comes in. He can hit send request. And if he hits send request here, I am the head coach. I'm sending a request as the head coach. So I hit send. That invitation was sent successfully. Now what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to log back out and I will log in as the other account again to show what we can do. So now I'm back in as the team, the, the owner who created that account under Smithville. I'll go to here. And then under the users tab, you'll now see pending invites. Um, another coach, coach at coach.com, head coach. Now we'll go ahead and approve it. And now that that coach has been approved, now that coach shows up here as well. And if I ever need to, I could also remove a user as well. So that's some very handy stuff. So the, okay, again, that's something you can do in mobile. All the stuff you can do in mobile except for uploading the roster. So something else is very, very handy that, that I feel like is really important for this application, something called media contacts. So after the game, my, my, my process in the past has been when the game's over, I send myself an email. I open up my phone. I, I open up that email. I forward it to all the people that I need to go to which just takes way too much time. It's really annoying because it's the same thing every time. But well, what if we could just upload, or sorry, enter newspapers into my list that I needed to send to every game? And you, you get the point, right? So you can add any newspapers, media outlets, maybe you're, you're another coach that isn't on, on the team. You can add them here as a media contact. And as long as their checkbox is set to a yes and they're enabled, at the end of the game, when you're on your, in the live scoring portion of the mobile app, there's a button there called Send Stats. And when you hit that Send Stats button, it will send an email to all the people that are enabled here with a link to the GameCast and attached box score PDF. So everything that you need to do is just the click of a button as long as you configure this beforehand. So um, that's mostly it. Let's see what else we're missing here. Again, the subscription. I mentioned this in the introduction video and you'll see it on the website as well, but the subscription to do the live scoring for the, for the app, which is the most important part, it is going to be $59 for, for the season. So you pay $59 and that will enable you to do live scoring for all the games for your season. So what I'm going to go ahead and do now is I'm going to move back over to 
my device here and you'll see here if I hit the subscribe button it gives you a description there of what the, what that does for you it allows you to um, do, do the live scoring for the game now you could still now before you make the decision if you aren't sure if you want to subscribe yet down towards the bottom here you'll see here's that media contacts page I'm on mobile it's already shown up here because I added it on web there's a help page here which the, the, the information is already up on the website is I'm on a, I'm on a test version of the mobile app so you're not going to see it there just yet but it is on the website the help content is so here, there's a practice scorekeeping feature as well. And this is something where obviously you don't want to pay money unless you know this is what you're going to want to use for your preseason. It's, it's what you've been looking for. I hope it is. But you can go practice scorekeeping. You basically can do live scoring here, um, simulate a drive, simulate a quarter, simulate a game, whatever you want. Go through the different screens, the different types of plays and scenarios, and just make sure this is what you want. Now, I think it's going to be what you're looking for, but just double check yourself and make sure before you spend that money and, and I... Um, I think that would make you really, really comfortable going into the season. So that's another feature there as well. So again, this video was for coach accounts. We went through creating an account, went through, you added media contacts, you go into a team, you can add uh, games, rosters, um, the reporting, the user administration, uh, team preferences. One more thing, there are also user preferences. So each team might have different preferences or different settings, but at the team, at your individual user account level, if you go to your, men your menu option in the top left and you hit preferences, there are some preferences here as well. The main one I want to highlight is the very top one where it says track defensive stats. So there are some statisticians who do track all teams, offense and defense, which would be very, very difficult because defensive stuff, as we know, gets really, really, uh, it gets really clouded when, when there's a bunch of people there in the middle of the field. But there are some statisticians like our team. What my coach has me do is I do keep track for our team, but then he might go in afterwards and, and um, review film and then maybe we make some changes if I happen to miss something there because, again, defensive stats are very difficult. But then there are, there are other teams as well that the coach just says, hey, don't worry about doing defense. We'll just do that all when we handle film. We'll upload the matchups ourselves afterwards. And so you could choose no here as well if, if your coach says, don't even worry about trying it. But the reason I do it is we have my team only so that um, we can get at least um, something, something unofficially close for max reps as well as um, if media is asking throughout the night. Um, Hey, hey, what are some key defensive players? We can go and see what some defensive stats are. They're always unofficial until we review film, but that's something that I want to call out. That's an option as well. So I think that's about it for coach accounts. So I'm looking forward to, to getting into more videos into the live scoring, but that is it for now. Thanks.